Yo, hello and welcome. So let's talk about the best mods to add to your modded Minecraft to make the experience a lot better. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the first things and these are the obvious choices that you want to add. Okay, so the first thing you want to add usually is just enough items. So just enough items is that thing that gives you old items on the right. So this old items also gives you recipes for it. It's such a cool thing. Obviously, nobody's gonna be able to memorize all the recipes for modded Minecraft, even if there's books. It's kind of hard, okay? So these are just like the easiest ones to add. Also, we have journey map. So journey map is a really good one. So it allows you to see the map. There's also different ways to add it. So there's other other mods that add different flavors where like you have to make your own map and everything. But journey map is really good because it gives you this whole map. Also gives you the waypoints. Uh, that will really help you okay and then we have third is what you're looking at which is like h w y l a this stands for like here is what you're looking at something like that just type h i'll leave a link for it and i'll show the name on the left so this mod allows you to see the the box on the top which is like the items you're looking at and that's really good so like basically i'm just gonna talk into the ideas of like some mod that will help you and help your experience in the game not something that's gonna change the way you play the game okay so the first actual mod that we're talking about that will add something in the game we have natural scumbus so natural scumbus is one of these old mods that that has been in the game for so long like this mod is sold and it's also really cool because it works for all different mods uh so the way it works, if you don't know, you can craft it very simple and the way it works is, is a very simple way is that it allows you to look at all the biomes in the map or in your game that you loaded in and pick the biome. Now this is so essential when it comes to modded Minecraft because when you play modded Minecraft you have all of these areas that you want to go explore but and also you have these like magic mods that tell you we need a specific item from a specific biome and it takes so much time to look for them so natural compass is your easiest option and it's also a really known mod well i'm basically going for the most known mods first now after that you have an easy choice of things that you can add is waystone waystone is a really cool thing to add in modern minecraft the way it works is a very simple you add a waystone and you name it whatever you name it you can name it home now once you made a waystone and you named it it you place it if anybody else right clicks the same waystone they also get to memorize that location if they break it that location happen gets removed instantly if you put another waystone and you have to also give it a name so home 2 for example now you can use them by right clicking them you can teleport between them also this is really cool because it allows you to do that between dimensions and it's a really cool mod because it allows you to do some tweaks in it so you can tweak the mod if you want you can make it harder to teleport with it like cost xp and stuff like that and the way you get these mods so like honestly i, I the craft recipe we never really rel relied on it like you can always craft it with you can make it so they added a craft recipe i don't think this craft recipe used to exist but the general way you find it is that if you go to any of these villages for example you'll find always a uh, waystone that's a guarantee sometimes also you find waystone randomly in the map so that's also a bonus okay after that we have a little cool mod like it's called carry on so carry on allows you to carry on small entities if you shift and right click also you can switch it in the controls so like if you go to the mod where is carry on carry on carry on here so you can switch it if you want sometimes people don't like left shift uh, left shift because you don't want to it it also goes for other things so you can add it to anything now this mod is really cool we can when it comes to like carrying on a small entities it's because it's always annoying in every modded minecraft you play you want to move animals to your houses or something like that or you want to do sacrifice or something or things like that that's annoying also when it comes to tech and moving one piece of equipment is annoying to pick it especially if it has a lot of items so you can do that to some of the equipment obviously not every item is going to be able to be moved with it it has to be small also the mod has to identify it but it works for so many cool things all right okay 
after that, uh, we have backpacks. Now, obviously, backpacks is a, is different, but I chose this one specific mod. The way that I like it is that you also you can find it around, and is that you can place it on the floor. So it's easy to make. You have different colors, and once you have it, you can use. It. If you right click it, you can use it. Also, you can wear it as a backpack and if you right click it on the floor shift right click you can place it and it works like as a, as a storage like it's a tiny chest oh i feel like this is a cool way to play with it also it gives you this feeling that you can put it i this one this mod is not going to be that useful in modded minecraft obviously because when it comes to that you're going to have always your automated storage system or something like that but this would be cool in early game all right now also we have sleeping bags now honestly uh, talking about sleeping bags i just like the idea I've, i don't really know which mod would be the best i think there's different mods for it but i i chose this mod because it was the one that people use the most and the best part about the idea of sleeping bag is the fact that if you, you go outside on a, when you go outside and you will like oh i want to search for like a long expression for magic items or tech items and you don't want to go back home to sleep or anything but the night is going to be really hard especially in hardcore minecraft modded packs so sleeping bags can be really helpful so, and the best part about them oh i wrote it is that if you sleep with them like if you right click sleep with them they don't really you don't set your point it's just something that you carry on so you can usually carry on a bit and do it but in, when you do that it will change your set spawn point i don't like that right okay and then we have another one which is target dummy so i like the target dummies a lot from this from the mod mmmmm and the reason i like target mod is that they can give you this thing that be, I don't feel like people use a lot in modern Minecraft. So like it's just a target dummy, right? But like it helps you to test all of your magic mods. And also a lot of mods require you to hit things for so long to test your damage and then get experience. So target dummies can be really good in that way. You can always choose the mod of your choice. Obviously, I'll link all the mods I'm using here. So yeah, all right last two mods and i really like the idea of these two mods first one is ender chest so ender chest is a known mod obviously so it, it gives you this ender chest but you can color code it to make it unique now the reason i like these ender chest is kind of different so obviously you can use it to color code and have it but this also ender chest is good because it all other mods understand its existence now we'll talk about that in a second so like the second last mod we're going to talk about is simple storage network now i feel simple storage network is not really specifically magic or tech or anything it's just a very simple mod to add on to have a habit some people feel like some mod packs don't add it because it feels like it's really strong to have honestly i just think it's a simple cool addition and like you don't have to spend hours and hours grinding it but and also you can use it early on and then switch it to something different like this simple storage is as it says simple i also have a full mod showcase for it it for the 1.12 there is no there's not much difference so you just all you need is to put the pieces which is like the storage network and then you have the storage inventory that shows you only the inventory you can you can skip the inventory if you have the request table that all gives you a crafting table then you put linking cables to a chest all right now here is why i think these two mods are cool together so like a mod like ender chest if i put some linking cables plus an import cable I can import from a, from a chest and so like if I drop this sleeping bag it will be taken move to the storage system and into the chest obviously you're gonna have a lot of different chests at the back which will make you like a storage system and that's then you can see or you can look at the items that you have now the idea here is that since this mod except this mod like ender chest a simple storage except this mod which is the ender chest not the normal ender now normal ender chest i don't think it, uh, it doesn't accept it like the cables last time i checked but let's try here yep it doesn't even link to it let's also try nope nothing nothing except links to it i think it's because like this is from minecraft or something i don't know the reason but it doesn't even link to it now there is this is cool because if you're in the go right now like walking 
and you can just have like you're exploring yara 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 and then you can't find items to put like you have full storage and you don't have a global storage system this works fine this works too right because you can put items right now too also this works in a really cool way because it makes you have wireless ways to have it, it, you have your house with the storage system okay obviously and then you have your like forms or whatever you can go to the form get the chest and link them only to that one specific so like you can leave one in here which is the red one and then have multiple of different storage systems and the one also also a cool addition is that simple storage have different speeds so you can have the link this one have a, like the highest speed possible and the other ones have a lower speed so this one won't get, jam get jammed or you can have multiple of them linked to the storage system okay and that's basically it and these are just like bunch of mods that i think they're really cool to add to your minecraft modded experience it would help you a lot also they work for all different levels of minecraft they so have like all, all the 1.12 1.16 1.18 most of them i don't think all of them work but most of them do anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching see you next one goodbye